the cook, the coach. I put that put that saying back in there, um, you know, just, just as a reminder. Because the way that that I always call it offense was I will see if, uh, pretty much if the wide receivers or my kids won't come to me and tell me what they're seeing. I got coaches that myself will see, will watch type of situations, will call a play to set up another type of play just to see what's going on. So um, it can come in thinking one thing and I'll modify based off of what I see uh, our athletes being able to do or be able to do it. Uh, first level of the playoffs, or, you know, we saw cornerback was starting to creep up on the run quite a bit and stuff like that. We knew that we could get him on, on the one. So um, keep that in mind as a coach, especially as an offensive play caller. Take advantage of, of those type of areas. I see coaches that generally, you know, they're bullheaded in, I want to run this, I want to run this, I want to run this, even if it doesn't work. Same thing, over, 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 and over. And sometimes... <laughs> So uh, take advantage of it. If you if you see something along the lines where that's going to work on, modify that play or those type of plays to be able to utilize that. You know, we've been talking about play calling. I, I don't know how much more I got to be able to, or I don't know how much more to talk about that. But listen to them, give them a chance. Uh, it, it's it's huge. I, like I said earlier, it's unbelievable how much more interaction you will get out of your your quarterback, all your wide receivers, they like to be out there. Uh, we've always had had kids say, I enjoy being at practice because I feel like I'm part of part of something. I'm part of being able to make a decision. Our bas our basketball program, kind of if you you know, stuff like that, it's a drill sergeant. It's ran this way and the kids don't like it. You, know, you don't get as much out of your kids as that much. So modify your 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 uh, your coaching styles as well to match that, the talents of your kids. So, um, you can see some of the pictures. <laughs> if you ever get a chance to watch film or anything like that of us, or you see it or anything along those lines, if you see this type of a situation going on, expect something. Uh, because that's generally, this was our level three game against Columbus. Uh, he came to the sideline and said, we, the play that we ran, they shot the, we ran a trips one way, they stunted the, the outside linebacker, went out on the, on the flare. He said, the middle of the field wide open, so we turned around. I have to bring my formations up. This was the formation right here. I mean, we were kneeling there, we were talking about it. We ran him out on a flat this way, and the linebacker went here and left the big hit in the middle of the field. We ended up hitting. We are on our own six yard line, we ended up hitting our Z for a 94 yard touchdown. Passed to go up 28 nothing in level three against a team that was supposed to kick our ass. Um, but, you know, using that type of communication between your quarterback to be able to modify that offensive play call right there, it's huge. Any questions, answers, open discussion? How much of this philosophy creeps over to the defense? Do you have that same philosophy of changing your defenses, fronts? We generally do not change the defensive fronts. Uh, we don't like changing responsibilities of that. Um, a lot of it you'll see here are modifications of on the offense really don't affect how the players execute or do something more versus how they execute something. You get what I mean? Um, defensively, I mean, obviously, if we have more of a run team, we will modify a defense to be able to move up, stuff like that. I give my defensive coordinator free reigns. If he wants a, we played, <laughs> we played Springs our in week four, stuff like that. We got hammered on. We changed the complete defense just to see how, what we could do to do to, and be able to use that even later down the road. We thought, hey, this might be able to give us a, an advantage. We might be able to. Nothing was given us advantage uh, that game, but uh, we ended up turning around and using it in level two of the playoff game because we were able to modify our defenses, put our players in different positions, stuff like that to match whatever our defense was going to throw at us. So. 
Um, you mentioned a little bit about like your passing tree, it, it sounded like that you used, but how do you like tag plays and formations to make it simple for your offense or like for your, your players yet also be able to adjust on the fly? So if we call just five out of our, our, our sets, if I call a play, I'll say this is what I call trips. I'll say trips right, one, four, seven, eight. All right, left to right. He's got a one row, he's got a four row, he's got a seven, he's got an eight. All right. And the way that my passing philosophy works is we divide the field up into, into sections. And generally in, in trips, we're gonna we're gonna divide this up into four sections across in these singles like here, we're gonna divide it into three sections. We're gonna attack minimum three quarters or two thirds of those zones at any given time. So uh, that's how, uh, when we start to call those numbers, you know, like our one route, and, and here's another thing, our one route, our three route, our five route, seven route, all break to the left. So the wide receivers can, and, and quarterbacks are all on the same page. It took us one practice to learn it. We ran through everything like that. It was pretty good. They knew it from there on up. Two, four, six breaks to the right. So, you know, you can see here we got, you know, if we ran everything over this side, it would shift the safety over. Uh, if they're playing in cover two, then there's going to be a safety here. But we would work on him coming to say, hey, I can break my cornerback's hips. I can break them in or out. So he'll come to the side and I'll say, okay, seven is, is our fly route, eight is our skinny post. And stuff. So, okay, we'll call it trips right, eight routed. You know, eight, seven, two, six over that side, and then Tom is getting close to break his hip, getting close. To and we've been in this situation quite a bit where we've been in fourth down and stuff like that, and that's where we like to go to stuff like that with that. Um, both New, New Holstein level two, Belders level three games. We're at fourth and fourteen on going for fourth and goal from the fourteen yard lines, and I went to the player. I went to the player, what can you do? You know, you tell me, what what are you gonna beat him on? And once he beat once he told me he could beat him, I trusted him, you know, I modified my offense, modified my play call to match what he could do and what he wanted to do. So and that goes the same thing with the quarterback as well. You know, if he sees it, you can do it. But, uh, last but not least. My biggest philosophy, other than having fun, you know, work hard, have fun doing it, is put your athletes in a position to succeed. You know, I, there, there's so many times I see situations where I, I'm like, man, if they would just put him here, can you imagine what he could do? In our conference, we know each other real well. We know athletes from, from uh, basketball, from wrestling, you know, the kids know each other constantly. They're all hanging out together, you know, we're five miles apart most of our towns, stuff like that. So, um, you know, put them in that position to be able to execute and succeed based off of what they can do, based off of their talents. So, my information is down below. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, comments or anything like that, text me, email me, follow me on Twitter, and send me a message there. Um, if you want to know more about our, our offense, you know, I, can, I can discuss a little bit more about our offense and, and how we, uh, I, I don't know, are you giving the fourth one or who's doing the, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was going to, that's kind of what I was going to do based off of uh, what, I was doing, or what I wanted to talk about, about shifting our, our defense and stuff like that and in our formation stuff. But, I can explain how we can change our offensive sets and stuff like that and to manipulate our defenses and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, thank you, everyone. Uh, hope it was good for you. Hope you can at least, like I said, take one thing out of this, uh, use it to your advantage. Uh, good luck next season.